time I won something, they kept appealing it. So they were draining me out of my money. Um, I ended up losing fifteen thousand um, dollars. That's a, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, that's combined with the computer forensic stuff that I had to ship out, and with the court, you know, I ended up dropping the case because of money issues. Because I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to drop the case, but I had to because, you know, I didn't have enough money to. They, I mean, they took his side. So it was, oh, it was just horrible. I dropped the case. I mean, I sat down with my parents and I said, "What do you think I should do?" Because every time I would win something, they kept appealing, and you know, and I, it, it's sickening. It really is sickening. Um. But I was told they had more money, so they were going to win. So, and the, the worst part about the whole entire thing, yeah, I dropped a case, and I, they're like, oh, you can move on with your life. The guy, my harasser, ended up giving me my phone number, giving me my email. He still calls me. I can look up when the last time he called me. 221. That was, what was it? That was a little over a week ago. He called me. Um, I have picked up, like, the only reason I know his number is he called my home number. And my home number has caller ID. So his first and last name was showing. Um, I have picked up the phone three times. Um, he basically goes on the phone and he makes fun of me that I got fired and how I don't have the job anymore and how he got away with, you know. And it's, it's sickening. I mean, his other friend called me and, uh, I picked up, I was hoping it was like an interview for a job and stuff and she ended up calling. Oh, I said she, I didn't say who it was. And, uh, she called and made fun of me and, it, I mean, it's, I'm still being harassed by him. It's not, at least the, the job back back when the guy, the other guy harassed me. At least he didn't like follow, not follow me, but once I left that place, he didn't like follow me. You know, like, you know, not follow me, but um, stalk me type thing. Call on my and, you know, harass me, jump, like, after, you know, being, being gone that but, uh, and this other guy, I remember, um, I'm just reading this, this other guy, he worked there, um, he left because he, he, he was having issues with people, there's a lot of drama there, and he says, uh, and does he still work there? And I went, yep. And I showed a picture of him. And then he wrote, Oh, I remember him. He's known for harassing women on the job. So. And I remember asking a question. When you s told me Blink is known to harass women on the job, who else did he harass? And then he, I don't know the girl. I don't know who this, like, I think I might know who this girl, because I think she was pregnant, but I don't know what her name is. I have, I remember, I think I remember sitting with her during lunchtime, but I actually don't remember her name. And he said, do you remember the girl that quit, the one that was always handicapping when we were, for, when we first started? And I said, mm. yeah, the, that was basically the girl. But, um, yeah. So he has harassed someone else before me. And, I mean, as far as I know is he got fired for harassing. I don't, I, I really don't know the story how he got fired. I really don't know. Um, but when I, when I was fired from that job, um, another co-worker called me and told me 
like, because people were dropping me as friends, and I'm like, why is everybody not talking? I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, I have another co-worker who FaceTimed me, told me that they had a meeting about harassing, about not to lie about harassment, and then they talked about how I was fired. So she said it made it look like I was lying about harassment. And a lot of people there that were knew about me, they knew that he was harassing me. Um, what else? Oh, this other girl, she was, I forget what it's called. This is when, uh, They, let me, they sent me home to investigate. This is one girl said, okay, I wouldn't say anything. I won't even be back until the 26th. It was so-and-so, and she knew exactly who it was. He was so jealously obsessed with you. I observed, but stayed out of stuff. He was always talking about you. If I was, wasn't was afraid to lose my job, I'd step in. I've heard them talking crap. He was so jealous that the machine that I ran came so easy to me. He tried to say that maintenance took care of the issue because you were running it. Um, she said, there was even one time I brought it up to people's attention. I can't remember, though. We were on Fargo 3. He was on MV3. MV3. And you were on the, on the topic of the discussion. And I said, wow. And whoever was my inspector said, what? And I said, you can't believe how loudly and rudely my harasser is talking. So, and then she said, sometimes this company is like high school. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, people, they knew he was harassing me. They knew. And he's still harassing me. So, I just wanted to talk about that. I mean, I, his other friends were starting to harass me, and it's, it's, it's like sad, you know, you, you go there for work, you don't go there to get harassed, um, I believe you were harassed, like, so we were both all.